Hey guys, it's me, Steven, here at Andy's Buildings. And uh, it's a lovely day outside, as you can see. We've actually, we're on a heat advisory we've been on these days, but uh, we're, that doesn't stop us at all. We always wanna stay productive, active, and uh, we wanna deliver the best products for our customers. So I'm out here with Andy. We're about to go check out a building. I'm gonna transition over to him. Hey guys, Andy here. We're gonna go uh, visit our one of our customers. He actually bought a uh, cover from us already. So this is his second purchase through us. Customer satisfaction, that's our main goal. So we're gonna go and kind of check out his spot because I think they're working on dirt work out here. He's located here in Clarksville, Arkansas, our hometown. We're out here, going to build a local building. And there it is, uh, concrete hasn't been poured yet. Uh, when will they be pouring concrete, Andy? They're gonna be pouring uh, next week, so here in about a couple of days. Couple uh, days. Today's a Friday, I think they're shooting for next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. It's a 30 by 50. Uh, they had to build up on, uh, on, on the right hand side over here quite a bit couple feet so uh, we're gonna do a 30 by 50 shop with two garage doors here on the here on the right hand side uh, we are doing the concrete notch on the concrete pad and once we pour it we'll come out here and show you guys uh, how it'll how it kind of goes out basically what it is is a concrete notch it's kind of it's a it's a rat guard once we put that sheet panel on there uh, it creates a protection between the concrete and the sheet panel. So we're gonna put uh, insulated windows and and uh, exterior home door. So it's gonna be a good looking building. I think we're gonna go with the colored clay to match his uh, cover that we've done. That's actually the cover there, the, the, the bigger one where he has it side by side. And, and his vehicles. We done that a couple weeks ago, so he's really happy about that. That tells you a lot whenever you have repeat customers, doesn't oh, it? Oh yeah, yeah, repeat customers. I mean, like I said earlier, you know, every customer to us is important, but uh, we really appreciate repeat customers. That just tells us we're, we're, we're doing things right. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, you have it here first, guys. Uh, just stick with us in these uh, next couple of days uh, coming on I believe next week is when they'll pour it. When yeah. they'll pour it. Yeah, okay. Next week, so. Yeah. So stick with us, guys, and uh, we definitely want to show you guys the uh, from uh, the foundation up of the building. So I think it'll be a really neat, really, really neat, uh, really neat shot. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm gonna go talk to my customer real quick. We'll be right back. We came before before the the concrete was laid out. So the guys poured it a week ago. Uh, it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, we're out here to, to measure, make sure everything's squared off, uh, and it, it's cured. You know, we let we usually leave them uh, leave them the cure for about five to seven days, and this one's due. Uh, as you can see here, this is what we're talking about with the concrete edge. So we had our concrete contractor do that notch. That way, whenever we build. Our base rail is gonna sit right here and then our sheet panel is gonna come down. That way no critters or, or any any insects can really climb up here. So this is what we were talking about, the, the concrete mod. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and start measuring. All right, guys, so we measured the the pad here. Everything's pretty much good. What I'm doing here is I'm making, making sure the pad's squared off. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. 
Uh, I like to do this that way if there's any hiccups with the concrete, we can adjust at our shop, anything like that. We're actually gonna be out here starting on the build tomorrow and we're projecting five days on this build. So if everything goes good, we'll be done in five days. And man, it's super hot out here. We're in Arkansas and man, I think it's gonna get up way above 100 degrees. So, so yeah, guys, uh, this is pretty much it for today. Uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning once we start building. So it's been about, I want to say a week since, since we completed this, this building out here. We just haven't been out here because we got, we got some rain. So that's good. Uh, things were about die, dying out here, the grass was. So, so uh, here's a 30 by 50. We put two 10 by 10 doors on the 50 foot side, as you can see. We get asked a lot about if we can, you know, frame up on the inside, insulate it, uh, add special doors, you know, stuff like that. And yes, we can. So that's why we're out here to show you guys kind of what we can do. So, uh, so let, so let's let's check it out. Let's go and check out the building from the inside. Again, this is a, a 30 by 50 12 foot side walls. With the 12 foot side walls, you can fit a car lift here. Uh, as you guys can see here, that's a, that's a tractor there with the front end loader. I wanna say it's a 40 horse. Just in case if any of you guys out there are kind of looking at dimensions, you can see if it fits pretty good here. Uh, as mentioned before, it's a 10 by 10 door. So you can see there's plenty of clearance there. Uh, everything, customer did stay, everything's kind of, you know, in the working process. So, so there is a lot of material laying out just because he's uh, he's in the process of framing it up. We did put four windows on the back end just so we could get some natural light out here. They are insulated. We do offer home style uh, walk-in doors. And if we walk out here and walk in through the inside, I can show you that. On, on our standard buildings and garages, we have a, a, a different a standard style 36 by 80 inch door. And that does come with a, a two and a half inch threshold, but the customer, he uh, wanted he wanted to upgrade to more of a exterior home style door. And uh, that'll eliminate the threshold here. So if you look down here, it's, it's like walking into a normal house. So come on in. 
customer, he already, he's, he's rocking and rolling. He has his fridge ready full of drinks and, and uh, his, his faucet there. As you can see, we're sweating because there's no insulation. Uh, but this room, he already put insulation on here and, uh, and a mini split. So let, let's walk in here and check it out. Oh man, it's cool in here. So yeah, I got the work here. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty good size room. Uh, he framed it up using wood. Uh, I believe he, he framed up the wall uh, every 16 inch sanders, just like he would at a house. Uh, he went 12, 12 by 12 up at the room. He used two by sixes. Uh, he already ran the electricity and ran the main split, as you guys can see there. Uh, pretty nice, pretty nice little office here, if you ask me. Steven, what do you think on all this, man? Man, I think all of this is very innovative, especially uh Especially starting from scratch, I feel like. Starting from scratch, you know, you would think, oh, all they're gonna have in here is maybe just cars, which is not bad, but it's always interesting to see a customer's different point of view. For example, he has his little man cave inside with his AC, as Andy mentioned. I think that's it for today. I'm gonna go back to my office, do some, some more office work. Uh, we probably we'll probably cut the video right here because you know anything office related is pretty boring so <laughs> all right guys thanks so for sticking with us all right we'll see you on the next adventure all right see ya Woo!